Hi everyone, welcome to Rocket Rose Art. My name is Jeff, and today I've just got a quick um, technique video for you, and it's to do with coloring decals with enamel. Now these decals are custom decals that you can design and print yourself with a laser printer, and you can see some examples there. And um, they, when fired, end up in a sepia color, much like that, if I can show it to you, or that, or that. Now these are all pendants, <clears throat> and it would be good if they could be colored, so that, for example, color could uh, come through uh, the wings of that butterfly, for example. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, just how I color the decals like this um, with the enamel. And the enamels that I use are liquid and they come in little bottles like this. Now you can probably do the same thing with powdered enamels and just mix them with some sort of uh, medium that will carry them. But that's what I use and that's what I buy here in Australia. So um, I'll just get on with that now and hopefully uh, this will help you and give you some good ideas. For this video I'm not going to be showing you how to make or print these decals. I've just drawn a few out of my stock. As you can see here I have a lot of decals already printed. Everything from hearts to flowers to butterflies and so forth. So these are the decals that I've chosen and roughly where they'll be positioned. They're sitting on uh, what is just a, um, well, I'm not sure what it is. It's just something I made up a while back. Um, maybe you could call it a coaster, but it would be for a very big mug. Anyway, they're sitting on that. I have uh, already uh, very lightly sandblasted that, so I've got a nice surface to work on. And uh, I'll show you now how I get that image very roughly onto that plate. So these are the enamels I'll be using today. Uh, the liquid enamels that I can buy here in Australia. Look, I don't know whether you can get these same brand enamels anywhere else. Um, I'm not even sure what the brand is. It might be that actual 2020, but I doubt it. Um, but you should be able to get something equivalent. And if you can't, you'll be able to certainly be able to get powder that you can mix into a liquid yourself. Um, the other thing I'm going to use are just small brushes to apply the enamel where I need it. Just be sure that when you're using your brushes you don't inadvertently use the same brush and contaminate your colours. If you're going to use the same brush, make sure you wash it thoroughly. So the first thing I do is take one of the images and I position it where I want it to go. I then go take a just a little lead pacer and hold that in place and then I mark some guides, some positions of different parts of the image um, around the edges, just like that. And that gives me something to work on when I, when I am uh, now sketching out that image. Now all of these marks will burn off in the kiln, so you no need to worry about those. And I'll then just take that and I will just very roughly sketch in where the uh, where the images is going and where I want to put the different colors. So for example here we've got the flower it sort of comes out around like this um, sort of very roughly like this. Remember I want a watercolor like effect on this so I won't be putting the um, the enamel on really thick. Whether it goes over the edges doesn't bother me and then with the leaves here where the leaves are I'll be just um, yeah, just doing that uh, quite roughly where they go. This um, is not meant to be exactly precise. Get my little jerks. I just have to put up with that. And that's all I do. 
Now when I'm putting the enamel on, I know roughly, looking at this, I'll know roughly where I want to put the enamel, which I'll show you next. The first colour I'm going to use is emerald green, uh, and I'm going to fill in the leaves on these top areas here. Now just keep in mind that I'm just showing you the technique here. If I was making a plate for sale or something like that, <coughs> excuse me, I would um, pay a lot more attention to the mix of colours. Now I'm going to apply some red on this rose up here. This rose up here will be yellow. Actually no, I'm going to make that one orange. And the one in the middle because the decal is quite dark so we're not going to get a lot of colour through. And I'll just show you that again. I'm going to make it yellow so uh, we hopefully will get some of that yellow popping through. You can see with our little butterfly that the background should throw through, show through quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of blue in it and a bit of yellow. And this heart here, it'll be red of course, and this little butterfly, I think I'll just reverse the blue and the yellow, so it'll be mainly blue in the middle with a little yellow border.
So once this has dried a bit, I'll uh, come back and I will uh, touch it up in a few areas and um, then I'll let it dry completely overnight before I put it into the kiln. You can see that the enamels have been fused on. Let's see if I can show them to you. Yeah, you get them in the in the um, light. So now it's a matter of putting the decals on. I've put one on up there, and I'll just go ahead and put the rest of them on. Here we have the uh, finished decals, fresh out of the kiln, and I think they've worked out really nice. You can see, with, especially with the uh, butterflies down here, how the colour is coming through the wings. And even though the colour is not precise, it's not within all the borders, that's not what I wanted. Um, you could do that if you wanted, um, it's just going to take you a bit more time. You will have to get the uh, the image transferred onto here more precisely so that you can stay within the lines. But for me, I like that, um, uh, what would you call it, almost a watercolour look. Um, by putting a bit more uh, enamel on, it could have been richer in colour. But I like the watercolour look. I also like the crayon look, which uh, will be in another video. So I think that's worked out well. These sepia decals, to me, give you um, the ability to be very creative in what you want to do. The fact that you can uh, design up the decal completely and uh, using a whole heap of components, you can put together some very elaborate um, artwork, dishes, bowls, whatever it is you want to do. And because you can colour it beneath these decals, I think it adds a dimension to your work that, um, to me, just gives you a great deal of flexibility. If you're an artist, I think this is one way to go. I know some local artists here in Australia that, um, that use these decals and colour them in a number of different ways, um, but uh, some of the work that they do is absolutely amazing. So I hope uh, you can see the possibilities here. I will be doing um, quite a few more videos, full projects on these. I have a couple in mind that will be probably very lengthy because and will be done over a period of time because they're quite complex. Um, so something to look forward to. I don't know that there's much more I can say on this. I think it speaks for itself. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's given you some great ideas. And if there's a couple of videos that you'd like to watch up there, as usual, and um, would like to see more, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll say bye for now.